Hello, happy siblings week. <laughs> <laughs> happy siblings day. Happy siblings week to you, Sam. Happy happy uh, siblings week, my lovely sister. <laughs> We are doing a sister, brother, brother, sister design <laughs> challenge today. Uh, you know, usually in a challenge, you're like, you think people are competing against each other. But I think the hardest challenge for siblings is to work together. That's the true test. Isn't that really the test? And so we have to make a single piece of jewelry together. We need to combine our design ideas and styles to come up with something cohesive that can be actually worn, that's usable, that hopefully is pretty. So I think we can do it. Yeah. I'm excited. I mean, we did choose like some of our favorite beads. Like yeah. we're like, let's, let's, let's enjoy this. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at how pretty the beads are. For today. Oh yeah. So I had to have turquoise and carnelian or not carnelian, sorry, but an orange kind of bead. This is a, yeah. an agate, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This is a um, dime beautiful dyed mm -hmm. agate with that oh my god gorgeous new turquoise that went live on the shop today just like just now yeah cool. sam just was able to get that up in time so that we can all snag it for class it's so gorgeous um and bronzite is one of your favorite stones my bronze is he loves his blues with browns and bronzite's great because you get a little sparkle Don't in your brown <laughs> um and we wanted to pair that with some checks so we have these fabulous sugar maple leaves that i've been dying to make something with so Pick those out as well as this hunky chunky, hunky, chunky. <laughs> table cut butterfly. I so, really want to use that one. And yeah. So all That's these all pieces oh, yeah, are available. We have until exactly four o'clock. So we've yep. already heard the more we talk, the less time we get to That's make. That's true. So quickly, just so you know, all these items are available. I just posted them to the top of the app. But if you're watching this on replay in the next couple days, maybe it's not at the top anymore. Yeah, hit shop. See this shop button? We highly recommend this shop button. Very useful. The pop clips is a new button. We haven't, we don't use it yet. It's too, it's coming soon. <laughs> but use that shop button. And we try to add helpful links on this page, like shop by color. Today, use Siblings Day. Mm -hmm. And that'll take you to. You got know, a link to today's video that you're watching. Look, you're already here. Good job. <laughs> and There's then, our fabulous palette. And then you can find everything. All you have to do is click shop design. And so if you would like to challenge yourself with these same beads, you are welcome to. And there's that brand new turquoise, brand new today. And so, that, by the way, I sorted into a blue, a more green and a more blue option. Nice. It looks like they're going quite quickly. So. <laughs> they were already more a few minutes uh -huh. ago. <laughs> the first 10 strands are already gone, it looks Love like. Love it. All right. Well, they're, we picked out a good strand for today. Because they're not like more, they're not, they look more like nuggets than chips to me. Yeah, they're a little thicker. They're going to be really nice. I think they're going to be really nice to you. So I'm, let's just dive well, in. Well, yeah, we don't have much time. Rachel <laughs> told me we should each just start and then check in after a little bit. Yeah, it's just like, what if we each just like make something for 10 minutes and then we start, and then we start combining it and figuring it out. I just like. I feel like I want to sh I want to collaborate like visually. I'm, um, I will try it. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. That's I'm, always, my I'm idea. so curious. I guess the challenge then is like, how do we link the two ideas yeah. together? So may let's, I, we got to cut all this open. May I have that butterfly? Yes. We're just going to start prepping the beads. Yeah. I already am eyeing that butterfly focal. So I grabbed this Beadalon mandrel. This comes in a set of four in the shop. We usually keep it in stock so you can check online it's like a heck of a deal because you get four different shapes so i'm just using the round one here and i realized to make a hoop thick enough yeah i'm gonna have to use, <laughs> use the handle, the handle <laughs> because i don't think any of these will be big enough yeah so who needs the mandrel <laughs> this is when you can sometimes just get like a pill bottle out we are all for using what you have a cup a shot glass whatever you want and I don't have any chances to get this right because this is all the 18 gauge we currently have in front of us. As if we don't have it available in the shop as well. I'm going <laughs> to pretend like it's not 20 feet that way. Yeah. But see, again, I have to use what I have. All right, let me see this one for the Rachel Malice posted yesterday. I can't stop making hoops. And now I think she, like, she like implanted the idea in my mind yeah. yesterday. Yeah, Sam's starting with the butterfly. I want to start with the sugar maple leaves. And then we'll just see how they come together. Oh, sugar, sugar. Also, do, 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 can you guys do, hear the noise do. as the beads drops onto the ceramics? It's kind of pretty. <laughs> also, we, we, started, we found some new trays we like. So These are from Daiso Japan. 
can, you can order from them online if you don't have one locally. They're very affordable. It's like $1.75 for most things in that shop. All right, I'm just kind of warming up my wire a little bit. Also just because it felt like it had some kinks and things that I didn't love. And I don't feel like looking for nylon gel. Oh, we have head pins. We don't have to make knotted head pins. We do have head pins ah, today. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, that just helps warm up the wire. It also starts the work hardening process, which just makes means later on it'll be a little bit less malleable, which I actually will eventually want. And I'm just gonna start making my hoop. So you can just start forming, gotta use some tension here. If you want a nice looking circle, if you want a, a loppy doppy circle, <laughs> uh, by all means, a close your eyes. I don't know. So maybe you want, maybe you want a. I just I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> a loppy doppy. It's a very a it's very technical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and how I want to do this. Let's. See. Do you and your siblings invent words? I wonder if we did that at all. We invented games. Oh my gosh, there were we did so that a many. Lot. Oh my god. I mean, some of them maybe were sort of ones. We did like. invent most of them. Yeah, that's probably true. But we had our own version. I mean, I think the one I remember the most was hot lava. Okay. And but the, we would like take towels. What? Do you don't remember this? We would like throw, have like, we like couldn't touch the ground. So we would use like, t I'm remembering like bath towels the most, but we like, and other objects we would like throw out in front of us so we could like walk across the upstairs when it was like a playroom. Okay. So these are some of the memories <laughs> that you have because, because I'm, you're almost four years older than I yeah. am. Yeah. <laughs> and also when we watch back home videos, you start to see very clearly that Rachel was the leader. Like, <laughs> I was the kid that would go along. I was younger, obviously, yeah. but I was also just always the kid who would just kind of go along with whatever. I just like was like to be involved, especially like oh yeah, with if me. our cousin was over. Yeah, because my cousin is my age, so when she came over, it was like the two ladies running the house. <laughs> they would like put on plays and puppet shows. Oh, and, you would be you would be cast, and I would get cast. So I was just be always told what to do. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned! <laughs> <laughs> Look who's the boss now. <laughs> I know I'm such a dictator. <laughs> so what I've done is I like to make the hoop. I like to do as much of I can. Oh my gosh, as much <laughs> of it as I can on the mandrel here. Okay. Because once I take it off, it's gonna want to start loppy doppying. <laughs> it won't be as circular. So if I I did all my wrapping wall on it, so I can even while I'm putting kind of making more attention, it is continuing to stay in a nice circle. I'm gonna go ahead and bend that down. At this point, it doesn't really need to be done. And I'm just gonna do a simple loop. I learned this from Rachel Malice, how this loop can actually just be a simple loop secretly because it is an 18 gauge wire. I don't have to worry about it flip-flopping. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't say loppy doppy. <laughs> no, you did not. You're welcome. Floopity flip. Rachel Malice says, I use that handle more than I use the mandrel. Nice. That's good to know I'm not the only one. It's a very Well, help. she likes large hoops, and large hoops are fabulous. Yeah, do you wait? Well, yeah, when do you use the, the larger the hoop, the more beads you can use. <laughs> well, yeah, do you use this size to make your earrings, Rachel, or do you like a smaller one? I can't remember. It was very windy when we made them, those earrings together on the roof of your oh, yeah. apartment building. I was amazed we pulled off a classroom up there. <laughs> you have not kept what? Did you not watch that class? It is on the YouTube channel. It was channel. quite something. The wind blowing as you guys are on the New York City rooftop. So, see, I just made an adjustment not while on the mandrel and my circle loppy doppy. So I'm going to stick it back on to kind of help reform it. Right now I'm making dangles. So, so we'll see how they fit in with your... And now the real test is, can I, will I even be able to fit the butterfly inside of here? Dun, uh, dun, dun. I think it'll work. Good. We'll have to see how, how it looks, but it is starting. So I'm not going to put the butterfly in yet because I think it'll make it harder to use. I will probably start wrapping on some beads to it. I could leave some like empty loops if you want to make you more yeah. opportunities for dangles. How many empty loops would you potentially want me to put? You kind of know the ones, the Rachel Malice style ones I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Three to five? Okay. Well, what? Because otherwise you're going to use, you're going to put beads on, right? I'll do, a, I want to do yeah. a mix of wrapping of beads and but loops. But I'm wondering if this would look good 
like if I made two of these sure. coming out this top. Sure. Oh, why not? <laughs> Always good to have more connecting options. Yeah. Especially if you can if it's ones we can link together more easily. We have jump we have rings jump too. Rings. I, I think we're I think jump rings are gonna be our uh, best bet today. So I'm using 24 gauge. Rachel Miles uses a lot of 26 gauge when doing her wraps, but I don't have any. I like bought it at one point. Who knows where that went? <laughs> But I always have lots of 24 gauge because that's been my go to for a long time. So. I know I'm making, look, it's a little like snowman. <laughs> and don't forget, we have the spacers too. We have the uh, little true, seed true. bead mix. Oh, is that a design uh, collaboration there? <laughs> Deli uh, not, it, is a, it, is, it is a food for thought. <laughs> it is how I make many of my suggestions, especially at pickleball. I don't want to tell someone how to play. Like I don't tell the partner plays, but I will. I will offer ideas that they can either take or completely dismiss them. Also, I cut that wire, and I have already lost it. What did you cut? Some twenty-four gauge went flying the moment I cut it. So I will cut another one. Yeah, I don't know. Me don't know. Guys, how do you lose a three-foot piece of wire? Could be anywhere. <laughs> you will find it in a month. Yep. Probably after the class ends. Mm -hmm. Probably like in my lap somewhere. Okay, just warming up that wire a little bit. We got lots of tips from Rachel Malice in the comments. Oh, nice. you, you guys, you have, we're lucky to have such an expert Hoop wire maker. person. Yeah, <laughs> wire person. <laughs> wire lady <laughs> in the comments. All right, I'm gonna, I feel like I have a memory of Rachel starting it. Um, maybe in the center so I could center my initial hoops, but you probably, we can have, we have some adjustment room to start here anyway. We have Lori in the house. Hello, welcome. Lori says, how are you messaging at the same time? Um, I'm very much not messaging Lori, thankfully, because <laughs> I cannot do that many things at once. We have the fabulous Rachel Malice helping in the comments. Ooh, Rachel likes to use the bail making pliers to do this. And I really liked that tip because that'll keep all my loops nice and consistent. So I'm roughly grabbing the middle. Oh, come on, you can you can stay. There I'm also kind of seeing your piece as the center dangle on something that has other dangles, like the loop itself is a dangle. The loop itself <laughs> is a dangle, meaning- the, the large hoop is a dangle of a necklace with other things hanging off besides this hoop. Like this isn't the, this hoop isn't the only thing. It might extend longer. More sideways. Oh, there might be a multiple. Like these can more lay like here. Yeah, kind yeah. of help to fill out the depth of the piece. Exactly. I like that. All right, so you see why I'm keeping the plier here in true Rachel Malice form. I think we have a Rachel Malice class coming up. Next month. Next month. Yeah, in uh, late May. Because always best to learn from the master herself. <laughs> and so by doing that with the plier, on the whole time lets me make a nice consistent loop. And yes, it looks a little silly right now, but it shouldn't once I keep adding. I'm debating if I'm gonna add a bead. I probably just go ahead and add a bead. Do we have any small beads? I need like a three or four millimeters. Now we just get the C beads or the six or the chips. Could, I can try, might as well try. Yeah. See they don't have to be three or four. We're, we're, gonna, we're changing it up. Let's see guys if we can find the smallest chip in here. Or you can you can get more. That's not the full strand. Okay. They're actually amazingly consistent. You should like, chips are like very inconsistent. So the nuggets actually are, are what I usually like, which is consistency, but I can't find any that are small. Yeah, literally, I there's like that one's one millimeter smaller. Just, I think they can be chunky. I'm, I'm this piece is going to be chunky. Okay. More about like how it lays. So let's make sure I give it some breathing room. So I'm gonna hold that bead as I bring just, I like the best tip that Rachel Malice gives for your wire doesn't get tangled is to push the first portion through like a little bump, pull the bump through <laughs> and there's no tangling or less tangling overall. And then do a second wrapping to secure it. Not too shabby. 
And then we could just keep adding turquoise unless we do another loopy loop. That was a good chance at a loop. Pretty. Lower down is a good chance. To... Right now I have one at the bottom. Can I have a, a console? I have one at the that will be centered okay. theoretically. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Will... Oh, I think so whether that should be the only one or should we have two yeah. more? Or should I just wrap turquoise and then there'll be a... I think there should be two more loops. In total. So one here and one here? E yeah, I think there should be three total. Okay, to give more dangle options. Oh, yeah, that'll be pretty more cascading. Yeah. Okay, I'm on it. We're going big with this design. <laughs> we got 42 minutes. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in dangle city over here. There, I've got a lot coming. Once I get... Well, we're going to switch cameras in just a moment. It takes a second. I love that since I'm not actually quite... I'm not knowing yet where this is all going, so I'm just making things that I think look pretty. <laughs> just lots of pretty dangles? Yeah. I think that'll come in very useful. Exactly. We're just I'm making the, the puzzle pieces, and then we'll figure out how it all fits together. All right, so another one of those loops. We're going to make something we never would have thought of. Lori also votes three loops. Yes. Good choice. Because <laughs> I agree. I think I also agree. Like, that seems like a very reasonable. It's like maybe yeah. five, but eh. No, no, no. Yeah, I think three. Because I really like the look of the turquoise, and I want more turquoise around. Well, there. I'm going to keep going up the whole yeah, side with yeah, turquoise if please. I can. Pretty, pretty, please. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know if you were pleased enough. <laughs> I actually can't wrap these. If I wrap these on too tight, their turquoise won't lay nicely. So I need to just like kind of okay. just be a little bit mindful. Oh, you know what I didn't do was work hard in my loop after I made it. Mm. So theoretically, I can like scooch this to the side and see how much work hardening I can do. Usually you want to do this to the whole thing. So make sure your beads are off the piece. You don't want to be banging on top of... <laughs> All right, get ready. Oh. <laughs> you gave it's, them no warning. It's only worse in person, I think. Oh, it's pretty bad. Okay, I'll Let's mute, mute, I'll mute ourselves, for a second. All right, now it's the thing Woo! is like, did I bang too I much? I didn't get enough of a warning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I can still move over. So I theory could keep banging on the other side. Yikes. All, All right, right. going to mute one more time. Okay, I'm going to mute myself. Everyone just sing to yourself for a second, okay? Oh, that's a terrible sound. So terrible. But it makes pretty results. I feel like the why the I'm surprised no one's screaming nylon, at us yet that, it, that I was, have the nylon hammer somewhere over there. I like that more usually on a steel block. All right, so let's get that recentered. Come on. Because the more we loop on, the harder it will be to move any of these elements. Mm -hmm. So that's roughly centered right now. So I should actually switch the other side to make that side happy. Where's our baby? This is a baby turquoise. If I use all the small turquoise down below, it means it's gonna get bigger as it goes up, <laughs> which is not usually good for the eye. <laughs> Meant to be. <laughs> usually, you usually want it to descend, get larger yeah. as it descends. Very true. But maybe I'll find more small pieces. We're gonna tell. That's what we're gonna tell ourselves. Yeah. They're just gonna magically appear. <laughs> well, you know, it's like well, where's Waldo? Like they've got to exist. <laughs> <laughs> they have to. There's always a Waldo. <laughs> Thanks to the authors of the book. <laughs> Sister Sass. <laughs> the most annoying game we used to play what? was that like Jinx. I used to jinx, you owe me a little bit of like, they, it, but there was like, it just got longer and longer. And I swear you always would change the rules constantly <laughs> of that game. That's how you, that's your memory of all of this. Mm -hmm. You would also like you were obsessed with uh punch talk punch. to the hand because the face don't want to hear it. Oh yeah. Once I learned that, I would say it to Sam all the time. <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed with these two guys. They like look like really cute earrings too. But like we're gonna use them in some unexpected way. Like I don't know if one's gonna hang off the center of this hoop. I Are love these gonna come up the side of our necklace? I don't know, but I like them. I really like all the like accent wrapping yeah, like and they're not the, the same either which is perfect 
Well, I tried to put like the X of the leaf on the back, yeah. But yeah, they're not like, no, not identical. I really like them. <laughs> Thank you. And then I have As long as this things. overall necklace has en enough overall turquoise yep. running up it, I think we'll be I think we'll both be happy. Yep. Yeah, I think I've, we've used, yeah, we're using all the beads. I've got turquoise, carnelian. I got some bronzite in my other dangles. So I'm going to make some more dangles. All right, I just need one more loop here. Turn it around so I can see it better. Pinch right next to my existing wraps. Continuing to use this small side and giving firm pressure on the handle. And then watching my wire path. So currently it's coming from on top of the hoop. So I need to go around the hoop. So it's going over and around the back. So it can then complete a full wrap essentially. Rachel, Rachel Moss, can you believe I actually managed to pay somewhat attention to that class in that crazy <laughs> wind <sighs> while we were like dealing with all the weird internet and the wit and like if everything was nuts that class. And you're already ready to teach. <laughs> well, I remember enough to at least replicate yeah. it. It's a good design. Okay. I like giving these agates little turquoise hats. That's what's happening over here. Agate? I'll show. Get, are the hats of the turquoise? Yeah, the, I don't know. Oh, these are cute little, little bagels. bagels. With their turquoise hats. <laughs> a little, I mean, orange and blue together. I love it. So we're just going to have some orange and blue pops. <laughs> I did do a whole Rachel orange, blue, peach palette on the, yesterday's live sale. Fabulous. All the, all the, all the turquoise peach combos. And one thing we were saying about siblings week, even if, you know, you didn't grow up with siblings, you might have some chosen siblings. Absolutely. <laughs> We've all got those friends. We can call them our sisters, call them our brothers, our siblings, whatever you want. All right, I've done the three loops. We there. are the Sam fam, so are we all siblings? <laughs> <laughs> We're, we, are are we, a bead, we are a bead family. Exactly, bead sisters. All right, I think folks get the gist of, I did all the important steps, which okay. is my three loops. Go ahead and do a final centering. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna wrap up with more turquoise. Well, I think we kind of need to now think about how we're gonna bring these things together. Sure. That is kind of the question, part of my question. So, so let's go over to right. So yeah, I've got these two fun pieces that I made um, with loops on both ends. I kind of was, I wanted to like, I don't know, make the leaf feel like it was part of a larger vine um, and pair it with the agate and the turquoise. And then I've got little dangles here. I've got longer dangles. So I'm just, I'm making options. Um, I don't know, let's, I'll make something else with the leaf. So we have more. I, I could also see like a what do you cascading want? turquoise coming down from here as well. Or like turquoise with with some accents mm -hmm. of orange. Cause you know how like Sarah will like link together individual beads. Yeah. And make a graduation. I also think these dangles will work too. We can use it <laughs> as long as they can loop on. Right now we only can loop yeah, on. Yeah, we'd have to add a, a jump, jump ring. ring. Or I can add another one between them. True. Maybe oh, I'll yeah, do that. A single bead. Yeah, let me do that. I'll make one that has a single loop on both sides. Oh, smart. You're like the prep chef now over there, like <laughs> getting everything ready you for us. You keep giving me ideas and I, I'm like sort of saying no. <laughs> It's a lovely idea, but that just, I don't know, it feels too obvious. <laughs> Why are you, but you are, we can use your diggles for, yeah. I feel like, I feels like it's an evolution of the idea. Oh yeah. I don't feel dismissed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling like I just want a lot of color together right now. Mm -hmm. That's my mood. I'm clearly just like turquoise. Yeah, you're just like, no, only turquoise. And I'm sure that would look fabulous, but I want, I want to bring in the color. And I haven't used any bronze. You guys used, I've yeah. done you used I've used some bronze, yeah. See, look how cute these trays are. You can actually yeah, see they're the great. Yeah. Oh, I made that too big. It's like a nicer looking crystal tray. Yeah. Okay, bead train, we get it. Bead train coming Go through. Ahead. It's been fun sharing some of our childhood photos with everyone. Um, this I is know. still my favorite uh, one. On the, this is this calendar. Who found this calendar? Uh, our dad. 2006, 2006 calendar. This was like, I'm sure, a gift we gave to like grandparents Wait, and aunts the and uncles. Nine, oh, it's not from 94. That's, 
I was you, born in 99. Neither of us were alive in that year. So it's just set wrong. Yeah, I don't know why it says that. But if it was um, 2006, well, so it was taken in 2005, I would have been six years old then. And you would have been like nine or 10. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I cannot remember why we're in cowboy outfits but this is our dining room i'm in that same outfit multiple photos <laughs> in, this, in this thing and then this is the other one we shared this is what we what we say is going to the snow which i've heard is a very california thing to say because you know in other oh. places you're just in the snow but this is when we would go to the snow do you think that was probably in reno yeah or... that's my guess reno nevada and then oh my god oh gosh <laughs> you guys that my hockey phase lasts about two days. No, it lasted a few months. Oh, I quit as soon. I really? remember trying to quit as soon. Yeah, that's why dad was so bummed because he had just bought all this. Gear. Yeah. And like, but you wanted to do it at first. At some I guess point, so. and, and I remember, you were into I had skating. one really bad day where I like got Aww. hurt, and I was like, the other kids were like too big. Okay, here's me in 2005 doing art. Way back then, this was a mural I, I think did. That mural's still up. I, will I heard they took it down, but what? It that was, was up there for so long. It was at, yeah, they had this up on like at, in the playground and at my at uh, my elementary school. That's okay, this cool. one's just so cute. Look at little sham. I, they all say nineteen ninety four. That they just all have the wrong date. <laughs> Folks, this is why it's important. Wait, yeah, you're in this outfit again. I know. What is this outfit? So where do it? This, what? Can you tell? This where is this a is? classroom. I, I mean, I, assume I just don't recognize it. I just assume it's our elementary school. Uh, here we go. Rachel the theater kid. That's me as Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> you guys, we're just going through the family photo album right now. There's only 12, luckily. You guys well, I'm will be skipping free ahead. Soon. <laughs> do, 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 do. Any other yeah. good ones? Yeah. Pretty oh, cute. I like that one. That one's cute. cute. We'll end with that one. Our mom and Sam at the pool. <laughs> do you know which pool this is? I was trying to figure that out yesterday. I have no There's idea. So many trees. I think mom would know. I don't yeah, recognize I don't know. it at all. Oh, there we go. Please enjoy our the family photo album. All right, I got to make some jewelry. <laughs> All right. I'm just continuing to wrap turquoise over here. All right, and then you let me know when you're ready. Well, I guess you need to add the butterfly somehow. Yes, I have some ideas for okay. that. Okay, because then once you add the butterfly, we can then... I'm just going to keep making different types, and then we'll together decide how to lay it out. Okay. It's a no? lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> You want me to do it for us? I want to yeah. do it together. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to make these little just simple ones. I'm making them with a simple loop um, with just one carnelian. Um, these will give us a lot of flexibility. These could get used in a lot of places in the design. Has anyone seen our last siblings collaboration class? Was it that like purple multi-strand bracelet? Like back in the oh, old office? It? That was what I was thinking of. Oh, it could be. Because the, the one I remember yeah. is we that we filmed at my old place, which was that Brio necklace where you wrap the Brios like, oh, in wait, different ways. Wasn't that like when I just moved here? I think, if, if not even like before you moved, yeah. Oh my God, that was, yeah, oh, you're right. That could have been before I moved. That was so long ago. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. But I, yeah, and I, that one, I was remembering, do you remember the multi strand bracelet we did? Yeah, sure. With the purples and the metallics. That was a pretty one. Yeah. Where's that bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We got a big pile of jewelry over there. Maybe it's hidden in there. Where should I find jewelry everywhere? <sighs> I find it like in like my car, like center console. <laughs> because I probably like took it off before going somewhere. Or oh, I like often take off things yeah. and put it there. <sighs> I'll find things at home. I'll find things here. The hardest part about the simple loop is knowing how much wire to cut on the other side. And I'm realizing I don't really have that amount. So I'm just, it's hard to, your loops don't really match when um, yeah. you don't know how much to cut on each side. With a wire wrap loop, you don't have to. No. You don't have to. There's like make, some tips you can like yeah. to, to standardize Rules it. of thumb, yeah. But yeah. we're just going for it. And I'm, oh, I've been using, uh, I think I've been, been using 20 gauge this whole time. I actually looks yeah. really good. None oh, except for the obviously the um the head pins are thinner wire, but everything else is 20 gauge. Oh, because they already right. We didn't make the head pins. No. <laughs> the head pins, those are tear gas ones, are around 20-ish, if I remember right. I don't remember them being super 20, thin. 20, definitely not I can feel it. I can... This is 20. That's thinner. Must be like 24. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> it's kind of, I'm realizing I'm only taking the orange ones. I've been leaving all the yellow ones, which wasn't like a conscious choice. But it kind of makes sense. Oh, you're taking the most the, mo orange. the most like red orange that ones. That is exactly your taste. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, that makes sense. I have a the, just the tricky challenge of connecting this butterfly inside this hoop. Yeah. Wait. I think. Do you want to? Show people you figuring it out. Oh, sure. What <laughs> could see. go wrong? We can be, I wonder if we could just make it taller, just show both of us. Try. So my initial idea was to make an inside loop. Mm. Like to kind of dangle be, from. It might be too big. And I was just like, I don't know, I'm not feeling that right now. <laughs> There's not really a reason. And then I tried to see if I could fit just, two wires yeah. down through it and I can't quite. Oh, okay. So I'm basically bringing one of the wires, I'm continuing to wrap it so it can get it all the way to the center. And I can use the other one to help add stability along the back side. It probably won't hang perfectly, but I think we'll be able to get it pretty close. I'm loving this because we're gonna make something neither of us would have made on our own. Absolutely. <laughs> like, this would not have happened otherwise. This is cool. I am going to put a little seed bead to see if I can help me get the, get the spacing of it. Maybe even a couple. Because it's going to be a balance of like tension and centering. It's not. Yeah. It's a, if there was a loop, it, the loop is nice because you can then dangle mm -hmm. from it right from the center. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. Like the red, okay. And then if I, I think I'll fill in that bottom gap with more C beads before I attach this to the bottom. And are you gonna go up that side of the loop and then like cross the other? So what? <laughs> if you go, are you gonna go up the other side of the loop to keep that center loop very centered? Like where am I gonna connect it to? Yeah, like if you connect it on one side of the loop, can you sort of like? If I do this side, it looks like it's holding pretty nicely. And then you go back up. You could then wire up it going left. I don't know if that, and then I guess you're. Oh, back I could theoretically be... wrap inside of the tiny loop. That's true. That difficult. might be a little tricky though. It could just be a little off centered. Regardless, I'll have extra wire on both sides that I'll use to stabilize the back side okay. of it. Okay. Cool. I'm going for completion. Yeah. For this. Oh yeah, we only have 25 minutes. <laughs> I just, I'm not, I don't think that it has to be my masterpiece. <laughs> no. And I think by relaxing, it actually will end up being better. Yeah. Those were probably very good ideas. And I just like processed about half of them. What I was saying? Yes. I think I got the oh. gist of what you were saying. <laughs> it's all good. I you think said I was this direction, of... that direction. Yeah, like, I was like, like... <laughs> all the directions. <laughs> it, was, it was sort of something I feel like Danielle does in some of her bead weaving was kind of what I was getting at, kind but of... it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help. No. Nope. <laughs> well, I think I just dropped my wire on the ground. All right, well. I actually, I think I can wrap inside that loop. Oh, cool. Can I lift it up a little bit? Awesome. So I got the first loop. And then are you bringing it to the other side of the loop? I'm going, my goal okay. is to wrap in this small section right. here, okay. which in this case, I'm going to have to feed it, which is makes it harder to keep it from kinking, but yeah. I, we can do it, folks. Oh, see, this is where at the right at the end it wants to kink. Okay. Pull it with pliers. I do need some more attention. This is true. Oof, this is going to be a battle. Fight to win. Also, oh, I was like, why is there so much spacing? I was like, but now the top C beads, what happened? they just oh, they got, got pushed, kind of up. pushed up. So I couldn't tell why it wasn't balancing. All right, that's one loop. That was already such a battle. <laughs> <laughs> it is technically secured now. So if I basically I can use some of this wire and kind of like decoratively. I hope folks will pick up some of these beads. Um, they're really lovely to work with, so. I'm loving this turquoise here. Out, take some of this turquoise home, red agate. 
see what you can come up with. It'll, I'm sure if you do it with your sibling or by yourself, you, it'll look completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Take on your own siblings challenge. Yes. That would be so cool. Or just like, what are your bead sisters? Got any <laughs> local bead sisters? Or even if they're not local, you make half of the Oh piece my of gosh. Then you mail it to someone and they finish it and then they send it back. Um, Keep sending it on. Everyone adds something else to it. That's pretty funny. You can actually. Do some cool stuff. I am just bead squiggling, kind of filling Sisterhood up. Sisterhood of the traveling jewelry. <laughs> what about the brothers? Well, that's the book, but. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of making squiggles because it'll eventually help, hopefully, basically help hold this all in place. See, even if your siblings don't bead, they can still guide you. They'll be like, I want to use this bead. I know, I they can be your console. They can console. Oh, put these together. Like, even if people don't bead, I think. I'm confident you... your sibling will have have opinions. <laughs> that is, there you go. Confident. <laughs> exactly. If they're able to boss you around, they'll have an opinion. <laughs> I can't decide how many squiggling. Also, like, let this happen with this squiggle here. There we go. I can't see anything else. Dark. I'm just basically continuing to form it around and trying to make it look somewhat intentional slash intentionally freeform. All right, I've almost made it to the top here. Ooh, I just did a weird bend. Uh-oh. I was mean to the wire. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool looking. We're trying And then something. you're gonna wrap it back up at the top? That's, that was, that's the idea, this yeah. first one, as just the first securement method. And then go, yeah. At least can have that. This, then the, the butterfly will have a better chance of like staying forward. Yeah. So yeah. this is the back side. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it should be the back side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I if I had done this more often, I could actually do a decorative piece on the front. There's a lot more coming. I mean, you could for sure if you want to. That I, could just, be pretty. I, I wouldn't cover up the, yeah. the butterfly. But at least now, ooh, now you have a secret side of your pendant that you can yeah. enjoy in case you like the squiggles. I like it. I like the squiggles. I feel like you, I could have like done even more, but I'm content. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we got we got 20 minutes to put this together. All right, so that's the wire I just used. So my longer wire is this one here. Let's see. We'll find out if making things separately and bringing them together makes any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking a wire squiggly at this point. Where is the cutter? There's a cutter. All right, will I make the cut? I think I'll make the cut. You were saying like I know well, I I heard I heard like, the same thing like Bachelorette kind of thing uh -huh. yeah or well, or like will um, I get the last like rose fame. no or like fame like will I get the last <laughs> or um chorus line will I, will I get it I really think I'll get it uh, <laughs> I hope I, 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 I hope, hope I, I get, get it. it I hope I get it no I now I'm going to West Side Story um, um but you're you're doing the right chorus line song yeah something like that. I just don't, I've only seen Chorus on like once. Oh, I saw it a few months ago. It was really, really great show. At the ballet. It's just like so personal, like At just getting to hear all these people's ballet. stories. And they're based on true stories. It's so cool. All right. I have a little like buffet for us. Yes. Okay. Let me finish the squiggle. Um, all I'm doing, y'all, is squiggling, is taking the wire in bit by bit by bit by bit by bit. <laughs> And then we're going to get, oh, Rachel is such a buffet for us. It's quite the buffet. It's a Phoebe buffet. I'm kind of loving just going and going and going, and we'll see what we use. That Friends reference was for you, Rachel. Okay. <laughs> it's not like my favorite show. But you didn't even acknowledge the reference, <laughs> so I'm just sitting here thinking about that. I was actually a decent reference. <laughs> well done, well done. What's your favorite show? Hmm. What is your all-time favorite show? It's a good question. I feel like Parks you, and Rec. Really? I thought you were going to say like Gilmore Girls or... Nah. What was the other ones you were obsessed um, with? You always liked Bones. I did. I did really <laughs> like Bones. But I mean, I don't think that show really holds up that well. But <laughs> maybe it's just a fun show. I watched some of it. It was fun. All right. Oh, look at the cute little squiggly. I actually got it centered. 
So between on the back and front side, that's actually what's securing. I mean, I know what yours is. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Where da da da? Wait. Oh, I love this spiral. Actually, ended up much better than I thought it would. Do we like Nobody our? Nobody knows. Laura was asking I our thoughts on our flush up. cutters. I don't know if we have that strong of opinions on these. Uh oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of not expensive flush cutters because they eventually will wear out regardless. Um, oh, because you're gonna yeah hit something that'll. If, well, if I start using it, if I accidentally use it on my 18 gauge or thicker wire, then yeah. I'm gonna mess them up, or someone else will cut. I will bring it to a, a beach show, and someone will use it on fun. memory wire. Yeah. Okay, I I finish. <gasps> this is so cool. We're going with it. That's what I've got to contribute. Let All me right. add it to the Phoebe buffet over here. Yeah. At the ballet is from Let's chorus. Add it to the Vegas Kim. buffet. <laughs> okay, I'm finishing one last thing here. All right, guys, now you can think about how would you combine these any of this together? I love how many things I have. <laughs> you, well, also, this is like Rachel just made all the earrings if you like, you want it. If you're just <laughs> they could just all be earrings. Okay, wait, let's, let's, let's see everything. Okay. Um, okay, what if we take this tray? So I feel like we've got to lay this out. Okay. I can get a bigger tray if you want to. This I don't one's know. big too, if that's helpful. I like, I'm liking the white background. Yeah, I feel like it's just, I'm, it's a lot easier to see everything. Okay. Whew, what do we do? Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. All right, so we have three dangles at the bottom that are available. And could be lengthened as well. Oh, you made little links here, so we yeah. could use these three. So like, could use these. We need connectors anyway. Yeah, that's kind of what's my thing. Oh, geez. <laughs> They're gonna roll around, but. Um, I like the contrast of the orange already mm -hmm. right there. Okay, and then what's gonna dangle? And then so it could either be, we should test it out. It could be these hanging off. Pretty. Be cool if the middle one was longer. That make, yeah, that's true. Which either just the same one, just with one more bead added. Yeah. You already have that turquoise wrapped as well. There's that. There's also, if we wanna go big, is a question. But then there's a loop at the bottom. Well, still. yeah, you have to add some. You have to add one more thing. Wait, I like what you had actually. What oh, was really? the one you had? I had one of the ones with the bronze side at the bottom. And they're not connectors anyway, so we kind of have to use those as dangles. Yeah. All the ones yeah. that had pins we can actually can only use down here. We, well, or if, if oh, on the side on the side or something. Okay. Like or they become our matching earrings. Okay. Um. Okay. So we've got that. I like it so far. And then we got to figure out how to incorporate these. And then we have these just simple leaves. I love these. If there's like one thing of space before we get to these. Yeah. This is like my favorite of the ones you made. They feel like they balance yeah. the size of the focal really well. Mm -hmm. So either it's a turquoise or a contrasting color. Yeah. If we want contrasting, I'll have to make one more of these if we want that. Otherwise, bronzite. <laughs> Prep chef. Yes, chef. <laughs> we can either do the bronzite. <gasps> oh, wait. Well, I think I like the bronzite. It actually, the eye knows where to go now. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Um, and then the question is, do we have that dangling or that just becomes the earrings? Oh, Kim's singing in the comments. No one's gonna Oh, I can see these. You. Not while I'm around. If we use a jump ring to connect those, then we could add a dangle. <laughs> dangle from the dangle from the connectors. Love it. <laughs> Whoa. Sure can. Actually, it'll look nice on because it'll add some cha-cha. Yeah, I don't know. Either way. And then. That's a connector. Okay. That's a connector to the. A little bit, I guess. I just yeah, we, yeah, we can make another. That's pretty. Should we start connecting and? Yeah, I don't know. You can start connecting because you do all this work. So I will. I will. <laughs> yeah, make we'll start. Oh yeah. A carnelian. Uh, yeah, loop. Make a... What gauge should I use? Uh, I use twenty. Okay. Can, can I use that scrap there? There it is. Yes. If you can spot the scrap. <laughs> I can spot on that side, not the right. one that I lost in front of me. Ooh, I get to hold this. This is so fun. I love this. Oh, I can much. zoom in on you for a second. Okay. Make us bigger. Oh, Make on. us the bigger one. Look at that, guys. That's a fabulous focus. Those are your colors, too. And I love the butterfly. You're going to wear this necklace. <laughs> okay, this is definitely... You're this gonna, I want to wear it. You would wear this because you got to make sure it's the right length for you. Yeah. All right. Would you make... Uh, yeah. I'm going to start connecting everything. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I made so much. It helped fill it in. <laughs> Turns out you don't need to pre-plan to make a design. Yeah. We had a cohesive color palette, so that helped. Mm -hmm. We were using the same beads. And I, don't, I think it was only like four or five. Or, I don't, it wasn't like that many different beads. Um, 
which I think is good. So that way it's nice help. having starting with a pre-planned color palette. Like yeah. we didn't have to make that many decisions. <laughs> exactly. After that. We already did that work earlier mm -hmm. this week. How big of loops did you do? Okay. No cool. one's gonna harm. No one's <laughs> oh, that is another thing we love to do is singing around the house in the car. Oh, Kim now Kim singing is Sunny in the Park with Sunny in the Park with George. We have we should watch that one together. It's, it's I quite know, an I interesting. I don't think I've musical. seen it yet. I know you have. It's a very different. I like yeah. how different the musical is. Mm. You basically spend the whole first act like building his famous painting. Whoa. Like George is George. Like learning how the people get to that scene. Because yeah, the finale of the, of Act One is them like in everyone's in the positions in... of the painting. Oh wow, that's also, really cool. But also George is like obviously the painter George yeah. Seurat um, is <gasps> in it, and you so you get to hear all of his like all of the oh I just got very tensions about between piece. him and uh, Bernadette's character. Mm. And what directions are your loops going? Are they perpendicular? Okay, they're perpendicular to each other. Oh, nothing was intentional with that. Okay, I if that happened, that was completely by accident. Because we're doing jump rings. Because we, will well, have we don't game. technically need jump rings anymore because of our connectors. I mean, jump rings would help if we're going to add a. Okay, but I might like, make all the connectors perpendicular before we connect okay. up here, just so the chain made, lays consistently. Yeah. And Sounds by perpendicular, good. I mean like each loop is nine degree turned. Yeah. from the other on the other side of it like this one there's like one when one lays flat the other one is the opposite way you either yeah you basically want to make a decision like either they're parallel with each other or yeah. they're 90 degree difference exactly all right let me hook this on okay i will check the other loop if you thought that the butterfly already was a big bead we made it even bigger oh my gosh this is like a dream catcher like Sun catcher, like this is fun. Love it. Uh, I lost my flat nose. I'm obsessed. I lost my bent nose. Your bent nose? Um, Do you have, I, I will take another one. Any flat nose will work. Oh, because oh. I'm using my bent nose. <laughs> oh, that was so good. It's like when mom was like, I can't find my sunglasses. Wait, Rachel said, Why did I think we were making earrings? <laughs> oh, thank you, Maya. I oh, appreciate so it. Okay, so. Okay, well, I, I'm supposed to wait to connect, so let's see. That one's ready. I'll adjust the bronzite for okay. it next. I th and also, I don't, this is kind of jump, a guess. Yeah, now the question is whether we want jump rings or not. I would say start connecting okay. and see. And then see we can always lays. turn the loops if they're not lying nicely okay. or add a couple jump rings. That's just a dangle. Oh, if you do need, if you want adding a dangle, you do need um, a jump ring, right? A jump ring. Yeah. Otherwise, no room for it. Exactly. So we we might could decide not to do the the dangle, but I don't like the idea. Let's try it. Well, I'll start by adding the bronzite. Sarah was talking about the show Twin Peaks on her more on her. I don't know Twin Peaks. I'm also realizing that when you have two people making the same design, you can get twice as much done in an hour. That's very like I would actually. not neither of us would have been able to make this in an hour. No. Nope. Oh, we got nine minutes. Oh, okay. Um, should I start looping up here, basically? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we need all we need all four hands <laughs> if we're gonna get this done. Hopefully, I remember our pattern. Well, I'll do the sides, and then you can click on. I'll try to do the sides I'm doing, the same. Okay, I've got the leaf here. I'm doing the dangle. The bendos are really nice for doing all this linking. What did, I, what did I just lose? I lost the hat. My turquoise hat. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. My turquoise hat dangle. I think we both have to model this when we're done. <laughs> I don't wear a lot of big jewelry. Says so the person with the 30-inch <laughs> necklace. Well, you like long jewelry. This I is feel true. like is your preference. I don't like huge statement jewelry usually. Yeah, I versus I like something big here. All right. I did I love these sections of it. So okay. So is uh did you do the one oh that's okay, so that goes on to there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um all right, so let me make that connection and then we'll bring it all together. Cool. And show folks. Because that has to be on the lower side. I think that has to be on the lower side of the, of the like, jump ring. Was it not a moment ago? 
Oh, is that because of how I have the let's bronze see. I well, turned? Let's see. Because I, I want... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we might have to... You're right. Yeah, I think I want to change it. Are you? I could Would it, would it work? I would it the... be fixed if I changed the bronze I loop direction? Mm. I don't know. That's too much math. <laughs> I would, it looks like it's not quite on the lower side. Yeah, I think because I, I think it's because I, I wanted, I, there is a front to the leaf component. So that's. So listen to what I mean by that, folks. I and mean, what I mean here is like, it, you want it to be on the outside of the necklace. So yeah, the I want it to doesn't... hang down well. There we go. Donna says, is this going to be a Mother's Day present? I don't know. I wonder uh, if mom would, make, would wear this. Oh, she would. Maybe, yeah. But like somehow it's like still. Well, no, no, because it's now. Oh, well, we're looking at the back also. Oh, okay. Now it's right. Now it's right. Great. Perfect. Phew. <laughs> you did it. You did Christ it. This is a word. Okay. Just a few more things. And then I guess we would just like add chain or something to end it all. Is there a little chain over there? Chain. Try to, yeah, it's probably in one of those drawers. Says chain, chain. Wow. Shira labeling. <laughs> I think I wonder if Shira will, Shira will want to wear this. <laughs> our our bead sister. Okay, so I want to see if I can get the loop on the right side. And then. I feel like I don't really know until I put it on. <laughs> There's like a whole Christmas tree ha hanging off of this right now. <laughs> yeah, you're holding a lot of beads in one right now. It's a lot. May I have the clasp? I'm gonna start gonna fix. It's in the, yeah, right there. Okay. okay. That looks right. So now, now I just need to attach these. So the question is, do I want to use a jump ring or just connect directly? Um, I think directly. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think okay. Work. And if it doesn't, we, we shall adjust. Oh. oh my God, we might actually finish this. Copper, silver, silk. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Lots of good options. Ooh, that'd be pretty. I don't think we picked any out though. I was writing down some Rachel fun facts before this. <laughs> we already got Rebel Stiltson covered. Yep, we showed the picture. Did you know that Rachel made the original logo of uh, first the Sam for Sam's Beach Shop? The gold. You mean the current logo? Yeah, which is the original as well. <laughs> Rachel made the logo. I did. I did design that. That golden logo you see all over. The... Rachel made that years back. Mm -hmm. Back when I wanted Sam to change his name and sh the business, not his personal name. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Um, yeah, Sam's Beach Shop was a one point ultimate supplies. And Rachel which said. It just felt too generic and. Oh, it was a terrible name. Yeah, I can't come I up didn't with like anything. it. So I came, I came up with Sam's Beach Shop, simple but effective. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, yeah, helped with the design. So we've, I mean, even when it was all Sam's shop, I was, I was always helping. The whole mm -hmm. family was. It's true. Um, I mean, even my grandpa has helped bag beads in the past. Yeah, everyone's helped in Everyone some way. Everyone has helped <laughs> at one point. Oh my gosh, Sam! Look at this. What a cool piece. Um, oh my gosh. And a fun fact about Sam. He loved collecting those pressed pennies where you took like a real penny, put it into the machine at like the zoo or different tourist locations, crank that wheel and you get a pressed penny um, souvenir. Um, the thing we loved doing together was collecting state quarters. Mm -hmm. We had like a big map with all these like holes to put the quarter in and collect one with, with every U.S. state on it. Oh my gosh, we have three minutes. This might happen. I could put one of the dangles by the clasp. Like <laughs> If you have been ultimate supplies, he's going to have used that to you have sold anything. That's so true. Selling <laughs> sleds. <laughs> yeah, Sam the sled seller. I sling sleds. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, a fresh penny 
necklace. Oh my God, I wonder where all those press cuttings are. I'll check my memory box. I have it under my bed. I, I think I have a, a punch hole punch for metal so we could, that's a glory. I love that idea. Press pennies make amazing jewelry. I, I never thought about that. That'd be a cool project, like just like going on a trip and trying to purposely come back with a souvenir that you can make into jewelry. That's not just, you know, a bead. Not just a bead. Just a bead. Yeah. <laughs> That's good too. Beads are, beads are the worst. <laughs> Why are you using a round nose? What's going on? Well, there's still, there's, most tools have a secret flat nose. That's true. Just them. a very large tool to use. That was funny. I also, my favorite, oh, this these, these are a micro flat. Flat nose. I don't know if they're as good when you're using big chunky stuff, but all right. I guess should we try it on? See if I have no idea what length this is. I at least did it so these are even. I measured that, but I didn't. Yeah, like, we have no idea how long it is. Very this, long. This right is now. very long. This might be a Sam length necklace. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. You can try it on first. Wait. I have to take off this necklace. Oh yeah. Let's see how it lays. Where's the end? I always have trouble finding the end. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Here's how the length would look on me. Cool. So Your shirt's a little, is, well, both our shirts are kind of busy, so it's a little hard to see the design. Is, you're on, you go, you're I'm on, taking you're my on hair duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I kind of like the length. All right, there's the current length. <laughs> And then here is. Wait, but at least you see it there for a second. Let everyone see, because I kind of like how. But maybe it could be higher. I feel like a little shorter. On yeah, you. that's probably true. Ooh. It's cool though. Let me zoom us in more. Yeah. This is fun. Okay. <laughs> this age is realizing that. I'm just like this is very relaxing. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, wait. But I think that's too high. Okay, I'll give you some another inch. Yeah. Can you pull it down? Yeah. Is this a normal length of a shirt for you? I like that. Yeah. Pretty. So you're okay with it overlapping the shirt? Yeah. I don't know. I just, it looked too hot. And also this is a very busy, like it won't, I won't wear a striped shirt with it. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe go up a hair. You can go up a hair. Okay. There you go. I'm good with that. Nice. Okay. That is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lengths off each side. Okay. All right, well, it's four on the dot. We made the design. We're just making an alteration now, so yeah. this doesn't count. We finished. The, we finished. This is a this is a finished piece by four in one hour. Voila. So now we're just going to do an adjustment. Oh, my God, <laughs> look what we did together. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. One of them are better work, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty oh. happy with it. Wait, I think we should I think we should totally finish it. I probably will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to give folks the one last yeah, give them Give them the close-up. Oh, it's so fun to design with you. I like, I can't. We should do that. We should schedule these more often. <laughs> I know. And I think we need to do these with Shira. Like, we should do some other combinations. Like, I think this gets people out of their comfort zone. I also like to feel like the pressure was way off. Yeah. Like, all I had to do was make a pendant. So I know. I I, and I was like, all I made were like silly little dangles. Like, and then it became something big. <laughs> so we'll leave this for just yeah. to take a photo of. Before he goes nice. on I like vacay. how they kind of lean, yeah, lean together. Oh, it's so cool. It's like a sun catcher necklace is kind of what it's the vibe it's giving me. <gasps> oh, and I'm, yes, I'm so happy we use the sugar maple leaves. There we go. I know some we need some like light. bright light on that butterfly. Maybe if we, if we turn it this way, will it get more, the butterfly gets some more light? Yeah. A little bit. Oh, so so pretty. pretty. I love it. Good job. Nice job. High five. <laughs> High five. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you all for making with us. It is this was a cool little challenge. I did we succeed? I, I feel like we did. Succeeded. We succeed at being siblings. <laughs> Please vote. Do, do you now believe that we're siblings after this hour? Do you know people still come up to me at pickleball? They're like, oh yeah, is your sister Rachel? <laughs> yeah, because like, you have the same last name and yeah. you vaguely look the same. Exactly. I'm like, Mm -hmm. That is my sister. Mm -hmm. We well, used to go to pickleball together like every time. Yeah. Now we started to go like at different times, but. So people but, like now, I was like, now no, it's we, even don't, less we don't, I tell people like, we don't hide it. I know. We just, you don't usually see us at the same time at the same place. Yeah. And it's not like, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't just like come up that often, but it's funny. So yes, we're both obsessed with pickleball and with making jewelry. So. We love our turquoise. We love uh, our I know it's ball. not cut short yet, but I, just, I like to be wearing it. I'm going to wear it. To finish the class, yeah. put on my turquoise. Yes. Please match me. 
<laughs> I wore this to Pickwall the other day. This oh, necklace, and someone's like, "How much are the turquoise chips for the full strand?" Like twenty nine, uh, twenty nine ish, depending on yeah. which uh, which type. Top, if nice. you got the blue or green ones, you're getting a lot of pieces. I mean, we like we're using the more. It's hard to sell. This one had a little bit of more of the pops of blue in it. I feel like like a couple of the is, pieces. I think this is more of the blue strands. Yeah, I had to like. It's still it's still pretty green, but like it has more blue pops in it. Yeah. I basically sorted like the strands I once had more green overall and more yeah. blue overall. Yeah. So you can choose which ones you think you would like. I'm going to have to wear this tonight. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Going to my friend's birthday party. Oh, perfect. It's always fun to wear new jewelry. <laughs> exactly. Like, like, I love your necklace. Thanks. I, I made, made it. it. I know. I, I always say that. Well, usually they're like, I was just going to ask <laughs> if you made it. Because now they know I like basically only wear my own jewelry. Oh, really? Or like, I feel like that's mainly, yeah. More jewelry I just never, and Andrea Beaver's jewelry. Yeah, true. <laughs> like, and we have some good, we have some nice either, Rachel Malice always, pieces too. It's like, it's always going to be from like a jewelry maker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this has been a blast. Everyone, so thank fun. you for joining. Check the Sam's Beach Shop app for these beads. Go mm -hmm. to the, go to the Siblings Day collection, which yeah. you can find on the shop tab. And we did Siblings Day right. We celebrated well. And, you know, it's fitting next week. We're calling it Mother's Day week in the shop. Mm -hmm. um, all of our beads are going to be stuff that we think will look good in your Mother's Day creations. And I haven't even told Sam this yet, but our mom might in a few weeks might be coming to do a class. It won't be next week, but a cooking class. No, no, a jewelry class that she'll teach. She's going to be involved. <laughs> I literally have this is already scheduled and I hadn't told him because the only class she's ever done she taught us a cooking class yeah no, she's gonna come and help design jewelry <laughs> that's cool in one of our classes so the next couple weeks we got a couple Mother's Day things so you definitely come next week you for guys that. will uh start to see where we get our silliness yes from. <laughs> our energy our joy uh -huh. <laughs> and you too dad but like <laughs> mom wears it on her sleeve <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that he's totally watching right dad now. Dad is definitely watching right now. <laughs> oh god. You have you have joy as well, Dad. <laughs> Maybe Dad will come and do a jewelry class. Yeah, Dad, you could come and show your joy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. <laughs> On that note, we, we, we gonna... love our parents very much. <laughs> yes. We're gonna let's all head off to the weekend. Thank you all so much for joining Bye, us. Bye everyone. Bye. <laughs>